This is Strictly Prophetic with the Global Prophet, Apostle Dr. Elijah Kofi King. I see in the realm of the spirit a star that has fallen upon you. Yes. Now let me tell you what I am seeing inside the star. Come and stand here. Ah, Mandy. This man, this man, he said he watched my video on YouTube. That is what he said. The day you asked them who invited them to church. He said he watched my video on YouTube. That is the answer you gave, right? That is the answer you gave. The problem that led you to come to church to be prayed for is not the problem God said I should pray for. The problem that led you to church to be prayed for is an eye problem, right? It's an eye problem. But that is not what God said I should pray for. What God said I should pray for is connected to your stomach. It's connected to your stomach. In the realm of the spirit, I saw you were cut open. I saw you were cut open. And I saw all the organs in your stomach rotting. All the organs in your stomach rotting. The spirit of God said the only reason why the forces, the evil forces in your family have not managed to kill you and you are still among the living now, as it is now, is because you gave yourself over to him to work for him. So as you are standing there, you, there's a calling upon you. There's a call of God upon you. And that is the only reason why the covenant of life, say the covenant of life. Say louder, the covenant of life. For the last time. The covenant of life. Everybody that is here, you are part of this covenant of life. And because you are part of this covenant of life, you will not die before your time. You will not die before your time. I was telling my wife in the early 90s when God called me, he said, you are Elijah. I have a covenant of life with you. You will not see death. That is what God told me. He said, you will not see death and people will not die around you. I was telling my wife, just before we entered into Sunday, the whole week, that's what the conversation I've been having with him. It is a covenant of life. Money cannot buy it. No amount of money can make a witch doctor give you a gift that will prevent people from dying. When witches are promoted in the spirit, it is when they kill people. It cannot be charm for people's life to be preserved. It's only a gift of God. And God said, that gift, you have it with him. Yes. Are you a pastor? Yes, man of God. You are a pastor? Yes. Sir. Over which church? Yeah, I, I tried to open up a church. Now it is no more. They fought it very hard. The, the, there is a strong covenant between you and God. And that is what has kept you. And the covenant is a calling. Put your hands together for Jesus. It's a calling. If you have not agreed to work for God, by now you will not be alive. By now, you will not be alive. As you are standing here in the realm of the spirit, I am seeing a woman that is standing next to you. And I'm seeing the two of you quarreling, quarreling, quarreling. And the spirit of God said, apart from the health issues, I should pray for your marriage because it is getting closer for this woman to leave you. Are you married? You are married. You pay the bride price? Yes, I you are, you are fully married. But your, your wife, I see your wife packing her things and leaving you and leaving you is she here is your wife here you came alone there is a problem there is a problem there is a problem i am seeing another woman also standing next to you but this woman is not dark this woman is lighter than the woman you are calling your wife is your wife dark your wife is dark like you yeah but i'm seeing another woman in another complexion and she looks lighter than your wife. The Lord said, I should tell you, that woman is your grave. is your death. He, she is your grave. And she is your death. When, when a man is on a path of greatness, the devil will always send his weakness through the opposite sex. When that door opens, there will be a problem. Every man that is here, my prayer goes out to you and for you. Yes. That any sexual relationship outside the will of God that will open the door for the enemy to strike you, yes. may Jehovah prevent it. Amen. May Jehovah prevent it. Amen. May Jehovah strengthen you. Amen. 
if you are married and you are here you are standing in the gap for your husbands any strange woman yes. the enemy will send to your husband yes. that will open the door for the enemy to strike your husband yes. may Jehovah shield your husband may Jehovah protect your husband from that strange woman in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Ah, Dexter tell this man that what I am seeing is foresight tell him that what I am seeing is what foresight and let me tell you what I am seeing so you can tell him I am seeing myself in the realm of the spirit at UTH and I went there with three angels and the angel said Elijah see and this is what I saw I saw this man I don't know before I come to the vision I don't know whether you have had recently strong running stomach or now is when it is coming yes i had it sir you had it recently running yeah, stomach I, yes when Shh. even last sunday when i came even I, last I, sunday I, you I, had I, to I, run out of I, church I, yes. put your hands together for my jesus <laughs> say fire prophet fire prophet prophesy Jesus had a nickname. He was known as Jesus, the son of the carpenter. He was also known as Jesus, the son of man. Another place they call him Jesus, the son of God. Somebody also called him Jesus of Nazareth. John was not named by his parents, John the Baptist. But because of the nature of his ministry, they gave him a nickname, John the Baptist. It is okay in the kingdom. To brag when you brag in the Lord. Amen. When you brag in the Lord. Amen. Say global prophet. Prophesy. Prophesy. So Dexter, the spirit of God as he took me to UTH, I saw this man admitted in the hospital. And the problem that brought him to church, which is an eye problem, he is believing God that God will use me to talk about and heal him. Yes. God said that is not the problem that he wants me to deal with. But the problem he wants me to deal with is a problem that will end his life. I saw his tummy open. Why did they open his tummy? They opened his tummy because they said this man is not able to poo poo. And there is something like when you plant a seed and the seed germinates. There is something that has appeared inside his anus which the doctor said they needed to operate, otherwise he would die. And the Spirit of God is telling me, where he is standing now, yes. he is standing between life and death. Because if prayer is not offered, and what has already been done in the spirit realm, yes. at UTH, when it manifests in the physical, and they end up cutting him and operating him, because of something that will come, I don't know the medical term, but I know the sickness. Who are the nurses here? Uh -huh. Emeroids, something like that, it will appear inside your anus. And the doctors will say they need, they need to operate you. And it is through that they will end your life. It is through that they will end your life. If you have any girl you are communicating with who is light in complexion, stay away from her. Because it is your grief and it is your death. The enemy has sent that girl as an agent like Delilah mm. to use her. And if you don't have such a person you are communicating with and you feel good when you chat secretly and your wife doesn't know, then be careful. Yes. So such person does not manifest. But I'm seeing your wife standing next to you and I'm seeing another woman, lighter in complexion, standing next to you. Say fire. 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 Shout fire. Fire. Mahadabi Adala Basuka. Le Bahadabi Andala Babo Sataya. I see in the realm of the spirit. They are putting a chitenge, and the chitenge they are putting on you is not even a white chitenge. It's a normal chitenge. They have placed the chitenge on you. But I saw the angels of the Lord and covering the chitenge and removing the chitenge and when they removed the chitenge it was you who was under the chitenge and therefore the Lord said I should tell you he is transforming you from death to life Amen. Amen. he is transforming you from death to life Amen. he is taking you out from death to life Amen. 
So what it is is that this man, yes. spiritually, they have already killed him. Yes. Because the angels of the Lord have removed the chitenge, they have placed, because when a person dies, before they wheel him to the hospital, they cover them. Yes. The angels are uncovering him. Amen. Uncovering him. Amen. Covering him. He said even last Sunday when he was in church, he had run his stomach. He had to rush out. And the Spirit of God said, Son, how you will know that the vision you are seeing at UTH is that run, there is a running stomach. And you said it is called emerald. Amen. Emeroids. How can a sickness have such a sweet name? Like a diamond, emerald. Emerald. Why? You have problem when you poo poo? I know. You don't have problem now when you poo poo? Mm. Uh, mama, mama, can you explain to me that sickness? What causes it? Inflamed. Yes, the veins which are in the rectum. Okay, okay. So. When it happens like that, is somebody able to poo-poo or it becomes difficult for them to poo-poo? As they grow, it becomes difficult. As they grow, it becomes very difficult. Yes. Does it come as a result of frequent poo-pooing or something? Uh, no, they develop uh, over time. Over time. Mm -hmm. This man would have been diagnosed of that sickness and would have ended up in the grave. But he will not die. He will not die. Yes. Amen. You will not die. Amen. I said you will not die. Amen. You will not die. Right from your childhood. If you ask your parents, your parents will tell you. Right from your childhood, it has been sickness after sickness, sickness after sickness. There have been occasions where they have even thought to say, our son won't survive. And I see in the realm of the spirit, there have been occasions where they have taken you to the spiritualists. Where they have taken you to the spiritualists. I'm not talking of taking you to the church. Oh. They take you to the traditional healer. To do spiritual works for you. To place certain tattoos on certain parts of your body. So the sickness does not end in death. Mm. And that is why God called you into ministry. So the covenant of life can preserve you. Amen. But today, 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 I am seen in the realm of the spirit. You are sitting on a throne. Amen. And the spirit of God says. Yes. The spirit of God says, the throne that has been waiting for you mm. all your life. Yes. Today, he is going to use my prayer. To set you on the throne. Hey. To set you on the throne. The Lord is saying to me, the same way you prophesy to Mutali, mm. Alan's friend, yes. after you casted out that demonic attack. Yes. And you told him there are good things ahead of him. And he came back to testify because the government gave him a new contract. Yes. The Lord said, So shall it be your story. Hey. It shall be your story. Hey. There are a lot of good things ahead of you. What you need to do is to pray hard. Pray hard. Don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. Pray hard and continue to pray. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed. I saw the moon which was set on you. I saw the moon disappearing. And after the moon disappeared, I saw the sun with the face of a man, with hands, with feet. I can even see the belly of the sun. I can see the belly of the sun. I saw the sun walking and moving and as the moon disappeared i saw the sun replacing the moon and i heard god saying joy shall come in the morning hey. joy shall come in the morning hey. joy shall come in the hey. morning hey. the sun represents your season yes. it's a season of joy it's a season of laughter hey. the season of dryness the season of hardship hmm. the season of lost yes. of money and profit that season is past. Amen. The sun has come with a new season. The Lord said, Son, tell him I have placed a new garment upon him. Amen. A garment that will prevent the enemy from touching him. Amen. Before you had no covering. Before you, you had no covering. Even though you say you are a pastor and you had established a church. Before you had no covering. God said because of the words you are listening from my mouth. Yes. The covering that is upon me. Yes. And that is upon this commission. Yes. It is like a garment he has placed upon you. Hey. It's like a garment that he has placed upon you. So what made you exposed before? Yes. For the enemy to think that he can place emerald. You will not have survived though. You will not have survived. 
you will not have survived. And if they ever, if they ever diagnose you of anything like that, unless if I'm not in Zambia, yes. even if I'm not in Zambia on phone, grace can still work. Yes. And they will not even diagnose you in Jesus' name. Amen. They will not diagnose you in Jesus' name. Have you seen, did you meet your grandmother? From my mother's side? Any, any side? Did you meet your Only grandmother? Only my mother's side. Only for your mother's side? Yes. Is she late? Yes. Have you been seeing her in your dreams once in a while? Uh, no. You've never seen your grandmother before? I've never seen her in the dream. There is something your grandmother in the realm of the spirit wants to give you. But that thing she wants to give you, it's beads that women put under their waist. And you know what that means? She wants to impact her spirit to you. Your grandmother. She wants to impact her spirit to you. Do not let anyone lie to you that as a pastor, for you to be effective in ministry, you have to have some sort of traditional power for you to be effective. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you will end up getting witchcraft. Yes. You will be a pastor, but you will end up operating in dimensions and in realms that when you wake up in the morning, you will not be happy. Mm. You see yourself at the Dambi Hill. Yes. You see yourself flying, and you will assume to say it is prophetic, but it is not prophetic. It is something else. It's a different spirit. Mm. Somebody wants to give you something, and it's a grandmother I am seeing in the realm of the spirit. Lehadaba, lekotomi adaba, rabo si katozi ni antoni miata, dabra hadaba ya dabo seketia, labahando bianda labasua, lihato miande ni mianta, likatobre ya dadal sunte yanta, lahadia dadada dusua, kaliba ya daba ya daba ya daba, brei ya dabo sakatua, your burial is cancelled, your burial is cancelled. Your burial is cancelled. Your burial is cancelled. Your burial is cancelled. The enemy will not molest you. Will not molest you. The enemy will not molest you. I saw a spiritual bullet that was shot in the realm of the spirit that fell on your head. And I saw one side of your head, especially the left side. I saw it paining you, paining you, paining you. Is it true? Yes. You've been, is there? Yes. Is there? Yes. The spirit of God said, as you are standing here now, you are sick. You are a sick person as you are standing here because spiritual bullets has fallen on you and it is working. It is working on you. It is working. If God does not prevent it, why I open my mouth to say your burial is cancelled? I saw angels. I saw angels. They opened the gates of heaven. Ah, no wonder. Beginning of the prophecy, I saw a pilot and I said, I believe God is going to take me deep. God is going to take me deep. I saw angels and the angels were happy and they were welcoming you into the clouds of glory. I promise you, it is something I see, I saw and I'm seeing it. I saw the gates of heaven open and it was full of clouds inside but I could see the angels in four, four queues, four lines, one, two, three, four and they were all happy and they were welcoming you as you were walking on the clouds. But God said, your burial is cancelled. It is not your time to come to him in his kingdom. You will not die before your time. The organs in your stomach, may God renew them and give you a new organ like that of a baby. And may God cause hemorrhoids, may God cause it to be removed in the name of Jesus. Any witch that has been given assignment and they are saying, from your childhood, they have been wanting to kill you. But they have not managed. And this is the last kind of attack. That when you are operated, they kill you from your anus. They plotted the, the strongest one at the wrong time. Because the covenant of life has become part of you now. Amen. Covenant of life. Covenant of life. He said... You are Elijah. The covenant I have with God today, I'm telling you. He said, you are Elijah. Anywhere you will stand and you will raise your hand and call me. I, the Lord, I will hear you. Amen. And people will not die around you. People will not die around you. This is the covenant I have with God. Sir, you cannot die. Amen. The only thing is this. Don't ever drink strong alcohol in your life. 
Don't ever drink strong alcohol in your life. Okay. Okay. This is what you are going to do. I'm going to give you direction. Because the Spirit of God is telling me, you have been attacked so many times in your dreams. You are not supposed to have woken up from your sleep so many times. I see you nodding your head. I see you nodding your head. The Spirit of God said, I should give you this direction that will enable you to sleep soundly. Amen. Soundly. Amen. You will enjoy your sleep. The only time the Spirit of God will wake you up at two and at three is not because of demonic attack, but because he wants you to intercede and pray for the church. Amen. Amen. You will not have sleepless nights anymore. Okay? Amen. You don't have sleepless nights anymore. Say the covenant of life. Covenant of life. Say it like you mean it. The covenant of life. The covenant of life. I receive. I receive. Shout, I receive. I receive. Shout, I receive. I receive. When it is complete, I will tell you it is complete, then we're done. Because the more I pray, right now what I have seen now, which I cannot stop the prayer, I saw, I saw fingers. I saw fingers. And this is the finger I saw that was broken. This is the finger I saw that was broken. So I cannot stop the prayer in the name of being time conscious. I need to break whatever that needs to be broken. Once and for all. Because that is our hallmark as a church. We don't deliver people and yet we still hear that what God said will not happen has happened. No, we don't do that here. Because we take our time to minister to the, to the core of the problem. Let me tell you a secret here. Let me tell you a secret church. This is how you know, even if you don't believe in prophecy, this is how you know God is using me. Amen. I saw a man that has appeared in the house. And the man I'm seeing is an angel. But he is Moses. I know him because I see him very frequently. And even if he's not wearing the same garment, the moment he appears, the Spirit of God interprets that this is Moses. He came and laid hands on this man. And he said, it is done. So, so, Big John, I asked the Spirit of God, what does it mean? And the Spirit of God said, the Spirit and the grace he has placed on me, the problem this man is carrying, and where they have taken him in the land of the dead, it is too deep for my grace to bring him out. That is what it means. Where they have put in him, I'll be true and honest with you. He said, it is too deep. For the grace I carry. That is why anytime I want to pray for him, I see a repetition of what I'm breaking. I see a repetition of what I'm breaking. I see a repetition of what I'm breaking. The Spirit of God said he would have woken up one morning and he would complain of his stomach and he would not be able to walk. He will paralyze. He will not be able to walk. His legs will give up on him. They will sit him in a wheelchair but he will not survive. But glory be to God. Glory be to God. I said glory be to God. 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 Mandy. Mandy. Even me myself, if I had doubts about my ministry and my covenant with God, what has happened today is a sure insurance and assurance that my covenant with God is too pure. It's too pure. I cannot pray for you. You live here, you go and die. You go and die. I cannot pray for you. You live here, you go and die. No, 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 no. It cannot be possible. Maybe God, God should have rather given me the name Moses instead of Elijah. Because Moses appears when I'm ministering more. If I say Moses, I mean the spirit of Moses. Jesus said to the disciples, he said the spirit of Elijah is on John. So don't be surprised. The Bible said, and God prompted Moses to lay hands on Joshua and release his spirit. And another occasion, the Bible said, Moses released his spirit upon 70 men and they all began to what? Prophesy. So don't be surprised. If I speak like this, I am not blaspheming. It is the word of God that the spirit of Moses always appears when a ministry. The hands that has been laid on you the hand that has been laid on you, it is a hand from above. It is a divine hand. You don't need to go home and do fastings and prayer. 
You need to go home and eat. Study the word of God and live your life accordingly. Because God has finished the battle for you. Even if I don't pray for you this morning, I'm telling you in this altar, as a prophet to my generation, that you, you cannot die. You cannot die. You cannot what? Die. If you die within the next three months before next year, then I have not been called by God. The hand that has been laid upon you is a hand from above. The Bible said Moses appeared and he called the family of Reuben. He said, the men of Reuben should not be few and they should not die. A curse was broken. A curse was broken. A curse was broken. Confirm, let me pray for you. Then we do communion service. Bring the table here. Confirm the prayer. Confirm the prophecy. Let me pray for you. Everything which you have said, man of God, is true. I've been going through sicknesses every time and then they've been fighting me left, right, center. Even the ministry which I had, they fought it and until everybody, just the, all the members, got scattered. You've been fighting sickness? Yes. Sicknesses from childhood. And from then, your childhood? Yes. They said that I had a, I had sickle cell. Yes. Yeah. So even your parents... You are aware they've taken you to places in the name of taking away sickness for you to leave. You are aware? Yeah, these are the tattoos. And they have placed tattoos. They have placed tattoos. So you have yes. tattoos. Yes. And this is a tattoo here. I can't even see it. You can see. It's there. Wow. Yes. The Lord said you would have woken up one morning. Your legs would have given up on you. You wouldn't have been able to walk. I have prayed for a few people in the hospital who had sickle cell. And what affects them the most is their feet. They are free to become numb and weak. And no wonder the Spirit of God is showing me about paralysis. Paralysis. Hey, God loves you. Amen. And it is good. This morning, the communion table was not here. It was that far. In order to beat time, Amen. I decided to pray for a few people. Amen. Hey, God loves you. Amen. God loves you. God loves you. Amen. God loves you. Give me oil. I anoint you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Before I prayed for you, I saw you kneeling down. And God said, the spirit of Samuel, the way he humbled himself before his spiritual father, and God elevated him. I saw you kneeling down, and God said, the spirit of Samuel is going to come upon you. Amen. And you will not only be a pastor, but you will be a prophet. Amen. A prophet to the nations. If you are healthy, and you are strong, and God decides to pick you and use you, then God has done nothing. It is ordinary. But what makes it special and a miracle is that you are sick and you are a sickler. And God possesses you, engages a covenant with you, enacts a covenant, begins a covenant of life with you, and he begins to use you to speak to the nations of the world. But be careful of fair women, okay? Be careful of fair women. Otherwise, there's a fair woman who will be your de Delilah. The day you will cheat. And it will come out also. Because the wife that I saw that packed her, her staff to leave you, it was connected to the fair girl. So it will come out. Men who have issues, complications with fair women. We don't like to hang around fair women. They, they, not us. They. May God give you grace against lust of the flesh. And as a servant of God, may God give you grace to live long, to become a testament, a testament that people will look at you and trust that God can heal them of cancer, of kidney infection, of paralysis, of sickle cell. May you become the embodiment of life that wherever you appear, life will speak in the name of Yeshua, the son of God. You will not die, okay? You will not die. As I hold your hands, I lift you from death into life. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus mighty name. My name remains Elijah. Kofi Kofi King. I carry the grace of life. I carry the covenant of life. It doesn't matter. Whether sickle cell or what. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Prophecy is not prophecy. Until that prophecy fulfills the mandate of deliverance. 
of, of prosperity. Okay? So if you have sickle cell and the man of God is prophesying about you paralyzing and the man of God is talking of your childhood becoming sick to the point that they've taken you to traditional healers and they have tattooed you and you are confirming it. If the healing does not take place, for me, this one is not prophecy. It is entertainment. And the covenant I have with God is not a wasted covenant. It is a covenant that speaks of results. Amen. I didn't hear your amen, church. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Be coming to church every day, okay? Be coming to church every day. Apostle Dr. Elijah Coffee King is worth hearing.